welcome back to A Sound Waves Christmas. You know, I truly do adore the holidays, especially Christmas and its Yuletide cheer. I was under the impression that you preferred Halloween, sir. Oh, pish posh, Livingston. In spite of my ostentatious manner, I do in fact find the pleasant aroma of chestnuts roasting by an open fire whilst loved ones bicker amongst themselves joyfully to be a most enjoyable cause for celebration. I stand corrected. Though I might add that I do consider Halloween to be the harbinger to a series of exceptional holidays, finishing with Christmas and New Year's Day. Why, I've even grown quite fond of Thanksgiving over the course of my years here in the States. The dishes you Yanks managed to conjure up with yams is nothing short of bewildering. And who doesn't enjoy exchanging gifts with their nearest and dearest? And, oh, wonderful, another flail. You do spoil me to the core, my dear. I do hope that those of you at home are comfortably settled in for those more sound waves Christmas coming along, so stay tuned. Soundwaves Christmas. I am Chasta. I have a very special guest with us. Now, you've heard his voice the entire time, but you didn't know it was the legend that is Peter Fitch in the uh, house. Chasta, thank you. Yes. So nice to meet you. So yeah. nice to meet you, finally. Are, are you enjoying your first Soundwaves? I'm having a blast. I'm just hoping that I get to come back one day. Oh, The well, jury is still out. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. I think she's coming back. <laughs> anyway, I want to bring somebody on who is no stranger to Soundwaves Christmas. Uh... Yeah, Firefighter Bob, come on out. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> and Peter, you finally made the nice list and yeah. off the naughty list. <laughs> he uh, channels Santa for, for us every year, but um, also the firefighters have been very involved with this for a long time. Tell us a little bit about that. This will be our 68th year. The firefighter program, toy program started in 1949. That's before the Marines started with the Toys for Tots were the oldest continuous toy program in the nation. Uh, it started with a firehouse, Bush and Kearney, actually helping uh, a couple of widows in the neighborhood. Yeah. And then that was the start of the program all those years ago. Now we give toys to over 40,000 kids every Christmas. Uh, we went to Houston with, with, with uh, baby products mm -hmm. after the floods down there. Food, diapers, needs that. And uh, we are together with the... Uh, Marin County and uh, Sonoma, uh, Santa Rosa fire locals and supplying the people up there with toys and bikes and that to celebrate that, what's going on. That totally deserves a round of applause, yeah. right? Oh my God. And Absolutely. Well, we did something a little bit special for you guys. I don't think anybody's told you. It's a little bit of a surprise. Surprises, Santa yeah. loves surprises. <laughs> Santa loves surprises. All right, so watch this, okay? Hey guys, so we love the San Francisco firefighters. They have a fantastic toy program. So we have decided to go shopping today. We're at Five Little Monkeys in Burlingame. Let's go get some toys. Okay, well, this is gonna last about three minutes. This is, this is like a deep-seated child thing that's happening. I had so many stuffies when I was a kid. And then my mom was like, we have to get rid of stuffies. And I was like, no! I need therapy, I guess, don't I? Look at the little owl. Okay, Al is gonna be our first skit because his head turns. Are you kidding? Ah, oh, see, this is evil, you guys. I have a son and now I'm gonna want a daughter. Oh, Lord. Oh, my God. You squeeze it and it pops something rainbow out of its mouth. <laughs> I don't know how appropriate that is, but we'll see. I feel old right now because I'm about to say, I didn't know that they still made some of these games. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm all over this. Donuts. Yes, sugar for Christmas. Yes, parents, you're welcome. Geometric puzzle, transforming geometric puzzle. This is like a Rubik's Cube on crack. Is that totally inappropriate to say? Because I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Why am I making this all about me? This should be what the kids love, but I love, oh, Christmas sweater you can paint, done. True story, I have never seen Star Wars. Not even one Star Wars, but guess what? I have a son now, so Star Wars is gonna be probably like our life. What do you think a little girl, I'm from Oklahoma. So I feel like I need to get the horse stuffy. You wanna come with me? Let's go with me. Okay. What is that? A, what is? What animal is this? Okay, we can get a school bus. My son is helping us choose toys. Remember, if you break it, you buy it. All right, we have our full band. 
Did you hear that? Oh no! Oh god, you break it, you buy it. See, this is when being a waitress in college. Crap. See, I got cocky. Oh god. I you break it, you buy it. Look at that. Whoa, what a trip. Oh god. Okay, you wanna hold your basket while mommy finishes shopping? Yes. Oh my gosh, this is hard, Santa. I don't know how you do it and you don't even work out. Okay, ready? Woo, squats. Oh, the coloring book zoo. I'm, I'm working up a sweat. It's getting hot in here. Okay, squats, ready, go. Ugh. Now, I don't want to get political, but I do appreciate a Who is Michelle Obama book. Just saying. Got to put that in there, inspire some little girls. Hippopotamus, that's cute. A book of sleep, that's what we need. Also, I'm teaching my kids sign language. We have one sign down so far, so clearly I'm doing good on that. See, this is where I want a little girl. Shame on you guys for making me want another kid. Make your own lip balm. Oh yeah, start the makeup fetish early. I already covered math and science and reading, so don't judge me. Oh, <gasps> there's a sloth. Oh my God, oh my God, there's a sloth. Look behind you, look. It's a sloth, it's our favorite, yay. This is legitimately on my bucket list to hug a sloth. Not even kidding. That looks like an albino. You like that one? An albino. Do these have tags on it for people who are slow like me? Alligator or crocodile? I don't know, kids. You're not getting your science lessons here. Sorry about that. Okay, so let's go over what we have. We have a band. We have a school bus. We have these fun kid-approved things by my son. We have some stuffies. We have coloring books, so we got the artsy fartsy thing covered. We got a ghost because Halloween. We got science, math stuff that I don't know anything about, but some kid needs to know. Uh, go nuts for donuts because sugar. So, this is just what I got today. Oh no! But Five Little Monkeys is making a sizable donation to the San Francisco Firefighters Toy Program. So, all the good little girls and boys at Christmas will have toys for them. Thanks, guys! Thank you so much. Absolutely. You know, every gift gets out there for a kid. I'm sure in about two months, there's some mom or dad will be really appreciated of that guitar. Though. Oh, I hope so, yeah. <laughs> well, and Chasta, when you say sizable, it's oh, sizable, isn't it? It is, yeah. We really got a ton. There's a ton in the back that you can see uh, on the set. So we got a ton for you guys. So I hope it goes to good use. I know well, it will. Thank you so much. And, oh, and, Dennis a, and a big here. shout out to Five Little Monkeys yes. for being so thank cool. Thank you, Five Little Monkeys. Yeah. yeah. Don't mind me. Let's give it up for this guy one more time. Yeah. <laughs> oh, ho, ho. We'll be sending you home with some stuff and we've got a nice big truckload of stuff that's gonna show up. And so uh, some of the kids can benefit. Hopefully it'll make a difference this year. So thank, thank you very, you much, very for much for all you do for us and all you do for everybody. And I'm here to say that if you've watched Soundwaves over the last, I don't know, 25 years, you've seen this gal before. You've seen her as a host. She's been a producer. She's been a writer. She's been part of our party crew afterward. Wow. Don't know if you've ever seen her perform before, but she and her husband front a band called Pearl Alley, and they've thrown a little something holiday and cool together for us. Put it together for Suzanne St. John Crane, Dave Crane, Pearl Alley, take it away. Yeah. All right, let's do this. Merry Christmas, babe. Sure did trim in nice. Oh, yes, we did. Merry Christmas, babe. Lord, you sure don't treat me not. Oh, yeah, yeah. Got me a diamond ring for Christmas. Some good music on the radio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What I said now. Lord, I'm feeling mighty fine. 
Lord, I wanna kiss you, baby. Underneath that mistletoe, I'm all sneaking in. the TV premiere of 13-year-old Hannah Crane. More from Renee and Irish Greg. And a brand new song from the Sam Chase. Soundwave's Christmas continues in just a moment. Soundwave's Christmas was made possible in part by the generous support of Joshua and Michael Romano, Farmers Insurance. Five Little Monkeys, creative toys for imaginative minds. Longboard Margarita Bar in Pacifica, your neighborhood bar with a warm and friendly atmosphere. Ben Bernstein Music. Mobile Auto Glass, order any glasswork over $100 and get an automatic $25 coupon. Rock the Casa. Dumark Photography. Creatures at Large and Michael Willis Realty, serving the San Francisco Tri-Valley. Special thanks to Francesco's Catering, as well as our production partners, North Bay TV, Star 66 Video, and Pacific Coast Television. Streaming provided by Howl Live. Hi, I'm Nikki Maduro with KGO Radio, wishing all of you a very happy holidays or however you celebrate this time of year. And it's been quite a year, we all know that. Our differences and difference of opinion have been on full display, while the things that we have in common have been forgotten a lot of times. So for this new year, I wish us all hope for the future. Hope that we'll understand each other better, we'll love each other better, and we'll accept each other better. Because that's the key to bringing us all together. So once again, have a very happy holidays and a happy new year. Hello, good evening and welcome live from the Soundwave Studios. I'm Stephen Kirk. As we promised earlier in the show, we are going to go live to Michael and Sara Franti's house 
to find out about their charity. I'm waiting for the clearance from the uh, from the news van out in front of their house. Right. Okay. Yes. Yes. We uh, we've got the signal locked, and we are going live now. Uh, Michael and Sarah. Hi. How's it going over there? Oh, baby. Hey. Hey. hey, hey. hey how are you? Uh, welcome back to the show. Where'd that mistletoe come from? We're just sitting here. Yeah, we're just sitting here enjoying a delicious cup of um, eggnog. Christmas eggnog. <laughs> and um, uh, we wanted to tell you about a nonprofit that we are the founders of, and it's called. Well, babe, do you want to tell them our names? I already said we're the Frontis. Well, I'm Sara Aga Franti, and this is my husband, Michael Franti. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm Michael Franti. And that's my wife, sorry. And uh, we started a nonprofit called Do It For The Love. And Do It For The Love brings children, adults, and veterans with serious medical conditions or special needs to see any live concert by any artist in any city in North America. And we are so excited to announce that in our fourth year, we have now sent over a thousand families to live concert experiences, which is so exciting. Check out this video to see one of the recent ones we did with the Red Hot Chili Peppers. I was in treatment, like I was plugged into the chemo like through my little central line and everything, and my aunt shows up I, and tells me, I'm nominated you for this thing. You, you can go to a concert, any any concert, any concert you want. I'm just, oh my gosh, what do, how do I? And then I, I gotta go to the Chili Peppers. I had tickets to see him in Detroit. And then I couldn't go because I didn't have an immune system. And now, do it for the love. They're bringing me to the concert here in Columbus. And I'm just super excited to go with my friends. We're going to go meet the Chili Peppers. It's going to be awesome. This experience has been just truly amazing. It's so real. It's so life-changing. Especially for me with the passion of music, I have a hard time even putting it into words still. Seeing just all the songs that I knew and being there with my friends, you know, um, this is the sort of like gift that comes out of the love for music and helping people out. I think one of the things about the concert that was most special was being there with people who I really cared about, having that experience together. For that, I, I there's no amount of thanks I can express that would cover it. I hope you enjoyed the video of Dane visiting with the Red Hot Chili Peppers. If you have a friend or family member who needs music in that way, just write to us at doitforthelove.org. You can also spread the word, check us out on Facebook, Instagram, volunteer or donate. Happy Holidays! From us, the Frontis. Now let's get back to doing it for the love. Ah! <laughs> get a room, you two! Wow! Nice. Man, nice. when, they, when they say do it for the love, man, they do it for the love. <laughs> but seriously, give it up for Michael and Sarah Franti for not only what they do for this show, but what they do with the Do It For The Love Foundation. It's great stuff. So the reason why we're hanging out with our friend Peter Finch is because uh, if you are familiar with what we do at SoundwavesTV.com, we have all kinds of amazing audio programming. I'm Dennis from Soundwaves 10 at 10. I'm Stephen Kirk from Soundwaves FM, and this is Peter Finch from The Finch Files, the Finch stories Files from San Francisco and beyond. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah I just want to thank you for carrying my show because, oh. you know, as an indie podcaster, you just try and get your stuff out to as many people as possible, and the fact that you guys carry it, uh, it means a lot to me. And by the way, your, I mean, both of your work, but your 10 at 10, you have picked up that baton and you have run with it. <laughs> no, I let, and the fact that you, you know, pay homage by Dave Morey by including him. Right. Oh, but yeah. Are you kidding me? We're honored to have Dave to be a part of it. It's, right? you know, I'm making dinner and I say, okay, what year do we have today? Nice. And I put it on and it's, it's good uh, music for a while I make dinner. So you dinner say there. nice, I go, oh crap, 1980 again. Now I got to come up with something different. <laughs> Ten more songs. <laughs> yeah. No, but yeah, thanks for carrying my show and for what you guys are doing and for, obviously for doing this every year well yeah but i mean you know about your show thank you because you're putting a, a, a original great work into the world and that's the thing i mean now is the moment for people to create great stuff and hopefully it finds an audience and all we've tried to do with sound waves i mean steve and i have been doing our stuff for years but we saw there's this rare opportunity to bring all these voices that people love all this content that people love 
that corporate radio may have forgotten about <laughs> and put it all under one roof. And we're just getting warmed up. Actually. Well, and also you got to take into account that with corporate radio being what it is, the San Francisco market and the voices of San Francisco radio and music just aren't being serviced anymore, right. really. Yeah. And for us to be able to create a platform where we can take that singularly unique voice and give it a home, that's important to us. I mean, that's the great the, the radio that Dennis grew up on. I didn't get here until the early 1980s, but I mean, that's that's what but, Dennis I mean, we all had radio to. stations wherever we grew up that right. we connected with and DJs we connected with and voices that we knew, they were our friends. Yeah, and they're talking yeah. about local things going on. And they're right. playing some, sometimes you get your local bands that get local play. Yeah. And that's not the, that's not the atmosphere that's going on with corporate radio anymore. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. for us to be able to cr try and create a platform where that voice can be heard, that's important to us. Well, I think it's a win-win because, yeah. you know, I'm, I'm having my voice heard largely thanks to you guys. Ah, I don't know. I don't think you're going to have a hard time attracting anybody to listen to your stuff. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, and stay tuned because we've got a lot of big plans. There's a lot of opportunity and there's a lot of great voices out there. And, uh, you know, we're just getting warmed up, kids. So, yeah, at uh, soundwavestv.com, that's the place to go where you can get the Finch Files. You can get... Soundwaves 10 at 10, 10 great songs from one great year, hosted by Dennis Willis with Dave Morey, of course. <laughs> Soundwaves FM, it's, it's the, the 80s, the way you remember it. Not the way corporate radio plays it, the way you remember it, hosted right. by myself and, of course, Renee and Irish Greg. Absolutely. And speaking of Renee and Irish Greg, I just got to say, uh, we got to uh, listen as to what's happening in the other room. And, and this guy's amazing, the oh, Sam yeah. Chase. And uh, go to our website, soundwavestv.com. We're going to have a lot of stuff that you haven't seen. There was just some, oh, I, I can't even, I love this guy. I love this guy. He's a poet. He's amazing. You saw him at Outside Lands. You saw him at Hardly Strictly Bluegrass. And he's in the other room flying solo. Let's send it over to the other amazing creative component of soundwavestv.com, Renee and Irish Greg's pop-up. Renee and Irish Greg. Yeah. <laughs> guys and we're so glad to be a part of Soundwaves Christmas thank you so much for having us I'm Renee and I'm Irish Greg and we have a little show called Renee and Irish Greg's pop-up show which kind of makes sense because we're talking about nonprofits and charity work and we certainly don't make a profit <laughs> we <laughs> don't Renee and Irish Greg's <laughs> pop-up and we are a dot org for whatever that means <laughs> so pop up the area dot org is where you can find us, but we should tell everybody a little bit about our show. Yeah, so both Greg and I have a background in radio, and when that kind of took a turn, we uh, decided to get into the Wild West world of podcasting. And we have these wonderful friends in the music business. We have these wonderful connections to people. We have this random skill of being able to interview <laughs> people. Sort of, sometimes. Sort of. Um, and we thought, let's take it on the road and, and do a, a podcast. Yeah, so when we got together to talk about doing a podcast, Renee wanted it to be sitting on a deck drinking. Yeah. Um, and I didn't I want like, cameras to be involved, <laughs> certainly. And I was like, eh, everybody does that. And most of those, pod <laughs> most of those podcasts aren't very popular. But but I'm so good at it. No, no, I know. <laughs> yeah, you are. So we talked about what we liked most about when we were on the radio. And for both of us, it was going out on the road and, and hearing live music and doing it in front of an audience. Yep. And so that's what we've done. And we do it roughly every two weeks, mainly in San Francisco, but we do take it around the Bay Area. Yep. And um, it's been a lot of fun. We've been doing it for over a year now. And, and long may we uh, thrive. Yeah. And, and thank you. Thank you. Very sweet. Very sweet. And one of the things we do try to do with our show is, is shed a light on a, a different nonprofit. A lot of the times it's to support where I work, which is Blue Bear School of Music, a nonprofit music school. But um, th this was a rough year around the Bay Area. And so um, we've been doing a lot for um, the, the folks in the North Bay who suffered after horrible fires that happened in the fall. And um, yeah, so we're, we're, we're and, and yes. because we love our animals, yeah. we're specific to the animals for this specific Yeah, so charity. we've done a fundraiser for the Sonoma Humane Society, yeah. who there's been hundreds, probably thousands of, of not just domestic pets, but animals displaced by those terrible fires that happened. So we've been raising money and raising awareness to get some uh, you know, needed funds. Yeah. 
uh, to the good folks at the Sonoma Humane Society. And you know, the fires were a while back, but the problems are gonna continue for, for some time. For a long time. I mean, between air quality, between toxicity, and between just trauma. I mean, people have been traumatized by this, and the animals have been traumatized yeah. by this. So getting animals into good good homes and taking care of them is what we're all about. And people can help in any way they want. If animal's not your thing, God knows there's enough <laughs> right. things uh, for the people in the North Bay that you can do to help out. That's right. And one of them is to see live music. Yeah. Right? The Sam Chase. Oh, man. Love these guys. Sam's been around a long time. He's the real deal. Let's check him out now. It's the yeah. Sam Chase. always taught to sing about what you know I guess that's why there's so many songs about the road the stories don't really differ they only twist and turn how many lessons are there out there that you haven't already learned everyone writes songs about the road and they're nothing new but I'm not here to explain it here to sing you a few He's like a door-to-door -door salesman Hawking all his wares Breaking hearts with drinking songs And selling tales of nights gone wrong And never lived a lick of them Made it all up in his head Cause whiskey gives him heartburn He drinks ginger ale instead and Then he sings songs about the road And they're nothing new I'm not here to complain I'm here to sing you some too He's a road dog He's a con man He's a charlatan who ruins it for the rest of them He's a bookworm who learned how to play the guitar With a creative writing degree from some liberal arts college He expects you to play to see him he takes your money and then later hopes to be sleeping on your couches and using all your toilet paper. God damn, traveling folk singer. But this guy right here, sitting on this stage, he's legit. A true master of his craft, he's authentic as he gets. And I look you all on to see such a star in the flesh. Cause I write songs about the road. You've heard them all, I'm sure. But I'm not here to brag. I'm here to play the best you've ever heard. Oh, I'm not here to brag. you've ever heard yeah. thank you that was amazing the sam chase with a ridiculous rendition of a yeah. brand new song that he has never first. played anywhere before yes we got to hear it first you got to hear it first it's not even on paper this it's guy... not recorded it's not on paper mm -hmm. he hasn't it's just boom in his head boom he performed it bam Right there. Ridiculous. Thank you for that. And performances like that, uh, you're going to be able to see all kinds of them on SoundwavesTV.com. What was it? SoundwavesTV.com. One more time. One more time. For you in the cheap seats, SoundwavesTV.com. You got to have it three times in order to memorize it. <laughs> now, usually you'll see him with his group, The Untraditional, and yeah. they perform at a lot of big venues. Yeah, Outside Lands? Yep. That was a, that's a big one. Harley Strictly Bluegrass. Ooh, that's another big one. Oh, you know, they have another feather in their cap, too. What's that? So it's Christmas. Yes, that's true. <laughs> Everybody, please open your arms up to the, the Sam, Sam Chase. Chase. Oh, we've all got 
our problems, we all have pockets to fill. We got our grocery lists and things we missed to pay our cell phone bills. I spend my nights on the bar scene where my friends bartend, so I drink for free. Till the world starts spiraling and I'm poured into the street. And I can see it all go down from the lights of this town. It is lighting my descent and all the times that I have spent misunderstood. Rock bottoms never fell so good. Maybe I should try this over, maybe start doing it sober. Swear tonight will be the night that I will not wake up hungover. But all of a sudden the sun is rising, and it's not very surprising that I'm lying on the roof, drinking Jack and railing lines. And I can see it all go down from the lights of this town. It is lighting my descent, and all the times that I have spent misunderstood. Sing along if you know it. Rock bottoms never fell so good. Now you know it. Sing along. Rock Bottoms never fell so good. Very good. Ooh, oh, oh. Ooh, oh, oh. Ooh, oh, oh. They say you can't do this forever. I don't intend to prove them wrong. But you know, even the longest lives don't really last for very long. So I'll live it while I've got it, and what I've got, I'm living fine. But when you tell your kids your stories, you know they'd all rather hear mine. Cause I've seen the sunrise from a million different pairs of eyes. And I smoked many a cheap cigar, drank many of the cheaper wines. And oh, you don't seem so impressed, at least as far as I can tell. But you know I can play guitar and sing, and I can do it pretty well. And I owe every lyric, every riff, and every song to all the things that I have done, even when most of them were wrong. But you know that is just my life, when nothing ever seems enough. You can tell me what you will about my ways, and I'll politely tell you to fuck off. Coffee, TV 20, all right. <laughs> and I can see it all go down from the lights of this town. It is lighting my descent and all the times that I have spent misunderstood. Everybody now, rock bottoms never fell so good. Rock bottoms never fell so good. Oh, rock bottoms never fell so good. If you missed any portion of Soundwaves Christmas, please visit our website at soundwavestv.com. You can check out the entire show as well as watch and share bonus performances from all of our musical guests, extended clips, and exclusive content. Coming up on Soundwaves Christmas, Chasta and Baby Huey. More from the gang at Creature Features, as well as OG Creature Features host John Stanley and a performance from Werner Herzog. Save the date, Saturday, March 3rd, 2018. Dan Ashley presents Rock the Casa, an evening of music benefiting court-appointed special advocates and friends of Camp Concord. Appearing live at the Lesher Center for the Arts in Walnut Creek, Grammy award-winning recording artist, Melissa Etheridge. Opening the show will be Dan's rock and roll band, Push. Tickets are going to sell out. Get yours today. For more information, go to rockthecasa.org. Welcome back to Soundwaves TV. Sam Chase, just one of the many amazing performances that we've had tonight. Thank you guys so much for joining us. I'm Chasta. I brought in my partner in crime at 1077 The Bone. Baby Huey is in the house. What's going on? And we had to represent. Yeah. We have on our ugly Christmas sweaters, mine is Guns N' Roses, of course, his none other than Green, Green. Day. This is not ugly. <laughs> this is phenomenal. Oh, I, awesome. <laughs> I wear these I all the time. 
all year round. <laughs> so at 1077 The Bone, Baby Huey and I are really kind of the king and queen of trying to motivate people to come out and support local music. We know so many musicians that really just need the support. And that's the thing is just for us, like you said, we care so much about local music and just proving that rock and roll is still very much alive and well. But also, I think for us, we're really trying to change people's perspective of what corporate radio is. Yeah. And I like to say terrestrial radio, but like with our resources, we use social media, besides on airways, podcasts, all these ways that people can get on demand content. And we like to spread as much info as can about local music, all rock news, interviews, all these cool bands we get to talk to. So I think we're trying to prove we're more than just a radio station where exactly. you're all in purpose. Uh, content for anything rock related yeah and get these bands that may be unheard of get them out in front of people however we can do that so that is our mission at 1077 the bone you can find us quite easily we're yes. all over 1077 thebone.com if you would like to check us out now speaking of local amazing music suzanne has been a part of the soundways family for years and years and years you know her well you saw her earlier just kill it with pearl alley her voice is phenomenal that was with her husband now she just might have another member of her family that is equally as talented. Check it out, Suzanne. Well, it gives me incredible pleasure to introduce our next performer, my daughter, Hannah Crane. scared of dentists on the dark I was scared of pretty girls and starting conversations all my friends are turning green they're the magician's assistant in their dreams the screen closest thing to Michelle Pfeiffer that you've ever seen old lady running down to the riptide taking away to the dark side I want to be your lifting man I love you when you're singing that song and I got a lump in my throat cause you're gonna sing the words wrong Lady running down to the riptide Taking the way to the dark side I want to be a lifting man I love you when you're singing that song And I got a lump in my throat Cause you're gonna sing the words wrong Lady running down to 
Christmas was made possible in part by the generous support of Joshua and Michael Romano, Farmers Insurance, Five Little Monkeys, Creative Toys for Imaginative Minds, Longboard Margarita Bar in Pacifica, your neighborhood bar with a warm and friendly atmosphere, Ben Bernstein Music, Mobile Auto Glass, order any glass work over $100 and get an automatic $25 coupon, Rock the Casa, Dumark Photography, Creatures at Large, and Michael Willis Realty, serving the San Francisco Tri-Valley. Special thanks to Francesco's Catering, as well as our production partners, North Bay TV, Star 66 Video, and Pacific Coast Television. Streaming provided by Howl Live. Our halls have been thoroughly decked and the stockings have been hung by the chimney with care. Actually, Miss Tangela stuffed the holiday stockings with fireworks and then proceeded to throw them into the fireplace. I wonder if there ever be a day when I shall cast my eyes upon something she does that will surprise me. In any case, moving on, this will be our final opportunity to bid you adieu. A Merry Christmas and a pleasant tomorrow. Tangela, might you have any words for our guests before we pass them back to Dennis Willis and crew over at the Soundwave's Christmas set. <clears throat> Season's greetings to all and to all a good night. That can't possibly be what she said. No, but it seemed far more appropriate than what she actually said. Oh, of course. In any case, Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays to you and yours. Now let's get back to the Soundwave's Christmas set where they're joined by a very special guest. Hey, we gotta say thank you to the Creature Features guys. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Now, you, you got your Creature Features and then you got your Creature Features because <laughs> our special guest right now, of course, the one and only John Stanley, yeah. everybody. A creature without the feature. That's okay. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I wanna thank yeah. both of you you have invited me to be on this show since the year 1996, and I've only missed one show because I had to go in review for the San Francisco Chronicle a Clint Eastwood movie set on the island of Iwo Jima. Otherwise, I've been here every year. It's a perfectly respectable reason to miss. I will accept that answer. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, right. That's right. <laughs> Tell that to Clint. Yeah. <laughs> I have to say that, um, you know, you, re you don't realize that you've got a bucket list until something appears in front of you and you go, oh, yeah, 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 that's on it, that's on it. And I, I'm not a bucket list kind of guy, but I got to tell you, uh, you haven't hosted Creature Feature since uh, 1984. That's 84. 33 years, no, and we've become good friends since. Yep. And I just figured, well, you know, John doesn't host Creature Features anymore. That's just the way it is. I just have to accept it. And then all of a sudden there's a new creature features and John's a guest. And I'm like, yes, John's a guest. And perfectly, who's my guest? And perfectly bridging the, the, the past and the future. And all of a sudden John calls me one day and he says, you're never going to believe this. They asked me to be a guest host. Yeah. I was like, yes, good for you. And then you asked me to be and your you're guest. You're going to be my guest, right? And I'm like, holy crap! I get to, I get to be <laughs> he on fell, he a. Fell off his bar stool. I, I, I did. I, a, I get to be on Creature Features, and B, I get to be on it with you. And I can't even I can't even tell you how much fun that was. It was great. Yeah. It was Buster Crab. We got to talk about. Flash uh, can, can we just tell him right now? John uh, gave me a list of movies, and he's like, oh, "These are our movies," and I'm like. Flash Gordon conquers the universe. <laughs> That's the one we're doing. If you know, if you know Dennis Wells at all, you know Flash Gordon is his thing, baby. And that was so. That was great. I mean, that was just yeah. firing on all cylinders. It couldn't have been any better than 
you and you and Flash Gordon, well, Creature uh, Features. I have had an interview with Buster Krabs, so we could talk about that. Mm -hmm. or we could talk about the music pieces. Oh, yeah, yeah. They were coming we from got the, into the weeds. They we were didn't coming just talk from about the drinking. closet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you know your stuff. I mean, it's funny. We were driving up there to, to the, it was like a two hour drive to the studio. Yeah. And uh, we're Rosa. listening to this wonderful orchestral music, and John's like, okay, that's Treasure of the Sierra Madre right there, and that's Casablanca. <laughs> like, we listen to 80 stuff. John listens to movie scores and he's just rattling off all these details like at this day in the studio the temperature was this and so so and so did. amazing amazing it was so uh, much fun Max Steiner music yeah Max see Steiner, look the, right. the, the, this is what I'm talking Nobody about was this is what I'm talking about <laughs> <laughs> and you know what it's also always awesome to have John on the show but and a lot of times he brings gifts and actually Daniel step in here for a second would you uh, uh, Daniel's Daniel. playing Carol Merrill here. Hey. Wow. Thank you very much, Daniel, for bringing those in. You know, John came bearing gifts here. John, why don't you tell us about the stuff that you brought along today? Well, this is the Czar of Noir. This is about Eddie Muller, who okay, runs right. the Film Noir Festival every mm -hmm. year at the Castro Theater. Mm -hmm. He fills the theater 10 nights in a row. Wow. 1,300 people a night. It's one of the most successful film festivals. We can't even festivals. fill up the Longboard Margarita Bar. <laughs> <laughs> the most successful film festival in America right nice. there. Nice. Very impressive. And what do we got next here? Here, John? Uh, this was a book by Robert Block, mm -hmm. the man who wrote Psycho. Mm -hmm. We were going to do three of these collections of old short stories from Fantastic Adventures mm -hmm. Pulp Magazine. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, Bob died, mm -hmm. and so this is the only book that was published. So very, very rare indeed. And what do we got finally yeah. here? Well, this is a collection of interviews I did uh, at the San Francisco Chronicle. Mm -hmm. uh, interviews with Clint Eastwood, five different uh, There's Clint right there on the cover. He's the reason you missed that one show. Robert Mitchum. Uh, I, I published a book by his brother John, mm -hmm. so I got to know Robert Mitchum very well. Chuck Norris. Uh, oh, just a slew of the action stars of Hollywood. And the beautiful women like Jane Russell. Uh, Barbara Stanwyck. Don't get him started uh, on the beautiful women. Oh, we'll Hollywood. be here all night. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But here's the, here's the great thing. John brought along copies of all of these. And uh, for our, our lovely studio audience here, we actually have copies of a lot of this material yeah, that wow. you're going to be able to yeah. take home. Yeah. Autographed by John Stanley for tonight. Yeah. Yeah. That was very nice of you, John. You know I'll what? even sign my real name. You oh. know what? You know, Oprah <laughs> used to give out cars. This is much cooler. And you, get a book, and you get a book, and you get a book, and you get a book. Nice. John, thank you very uh, much. Happy holidays hey, to you, sir. Thank, thank you, Dennis. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks folks. Thanks. And now for the last time tonight, we're going to throw it into the other room here at the Longboard Margarita Bar with Renee and Irish Greg in our final act of the night. And these guys are cool. You're going to love them. Check them out. Burner Herzog. Let's cut to Renee and Irish Greg. Take it away, guys. And now I'm going to fall off my bar stool. <laughs> Irish Greg. And we're from Renee and Irish Greg's pop-up show. And we're so thrilled to be part of Soundwaves Christmas. Thank you for having us. Yeah, it's been so much fun. So much fun. And too much fun. Way too Criminal much fun. Criminal almost. He's hammered. <laughs> He's drunk. No. No. Um, but seriously, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and during this great time of the year, uh, just take care of each other. Like I, I feel like I've a broken record with this, but it was a rough year in so many year, so many ways, mm -hmm. all around the country. And it would be really nice to go into 2018 and have some peace and quiet and calm. Wouldn't that be nice? You are such a dreamer. I am. I but really I love am. it. That's what I love about Renee. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for joining us. It's been a total pleasure to be part of Sandway's Christmas. And we're going to get back into the music. This is a very clever name. Uh -huh. Berner Herzog. Uh, Take it away. I see what you did the there. Filmmaker. Ladies and gentlemen, the song is called Dark Places. One, two, three, and. She takes me places that I've never been. She takes me to the spaces in between But one day she gets in the car and screams We could go to dark places Dark places Not sure that that's the way I want to go Not sure that that's the road I want to go no. I've got a few good years ahead of me At least 
when I am speaking optimistically Not sure I want to spend them going to see All of those dark places Dark places Something to prepare for me The only one who cares wait for me The light upon the future Cast the shadows of tomorrow I'll be coming home So I'm sure of myself But I'm not sure I'd rather be anywhere else And although I may never know her well It's not terribly hard for me to tell It's good intentions on the road to hell Stay away from dark places Dark places, dark, dark places Something's in the air, wait for me You're the only one who cares, wait for me Be the light upon the future, cast the shadows of tomorrow I'll be coming home, wait for me She says, what you do to make the time go so slow I tell her I'm not sure I want to go All the love Dark places, dark places Something's in the air, wait for me You're the only one who cares, wait for me Oh, the light upon the future casts the shadows of tomorrow I'll be coming home, wait for me I'll be coming home, wait for me That about does it for another awesome Soundwaves Christmas. I want to say, I, I want a big applause for Hannah Crane, who just did an incredible, yeah. great, incredible performance. 13 years old. 13 years old, and obviously, you know, Suzanne and Dave, you know, what influence yep. there. <laughs> and so I, I just want to say uh, thank you to them and Bernard Herzog and all of our incredible performers. Uh, but this is the time of the show where we, uh, we pass the mic, we say thank you, and, uh, and just kind of like uh, remember why we're doing this. Absolutely. Shall we uh, start back here, Absolutely. Leilani? Nice to see you this year. Yeah, nice seeing you too. Honestly, everybody, just love one another right now. I mean, with everything that's been going on in the media and around the world, you really need to cherish those that you love. At this moment, and yeah. that's what this is all about. That's why mm -hmm. we're all here. Amen yeah, to that. yeah absolutely. Yeah, can Definitely. I just add to that? You know, we've been talking a lot about coming together, and I think everybody can do something, right? Like, we all know people who have equipment and can get things on TV, so this is what we decided to do uh, to make a difference. But what could you do? Like, get creative. You could start a website that could raise money for someone. You could collect money, give it to a local nonprofit. Of course, we had the huge, massive fires here in the North Bay. You could do something to raise funds for those people and help them out. But just, you know, get creative and do something yourself. Everybody can do something. And welcome to the Soundwaves family. Thank Pastor. you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And how about you, big guy, making your 11th appearance on Soundwaves Christmas? This is my son, Daniel. You met him earlier. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> awesome. Do you have any messages for anybody? Well, just be nice to people and my, mind how people are feeling. Yeah. Outstanding message. Perfect. 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 Excellent. <laughs> Good to work with Excellent. you again, Joey. Of course. But of course. Great to be back. And again, people, yeah, just take care of each other www.soundwavestv.com. Lots of good nonprofits you can give to, yeah. so please, giving season, help them out. Absolutely, and if you go to the website, not only can you look at all of the nonprofits that we're supporting, um, and maybe some video and some links to how you can contribute to their sites, do that. Learn what's happening in your neighborhood. Learn how you can get involved and make a difference. Like Chasta said, maybe you have something you can offer. I just want to take a moment and say, this show does not have a huge budget. This show is created out of love and by volunteers every single year. I can't thank the people in this room enough. I can't thank our crew enough. Give it up for Kim at the yep. Longboard, who just opens her doors for us. And the good folks at Pacific Coast TV, North Bay TV, and our friend, new friends at Creature Features, too. Such a thrill. And I want to put a shout out to Mr. Dennis Willis over here, because I got to tell you, every year that we do the show, Dennis is like, 
75% of what goes on because he does all the writing and makes all the phone calls and all that under normal circumstances. This past year, 99.9% of everything you've seen on the screen this year from the <laughs> bands, from writing the script to editing all the segments together, it's all this guy right here. Yep. So this is the guy who gets a lot of love today. Yep. <laughs> And also, Thank you. also, Soundwaves is a family. Soundwaves has always been a big family. And we've uh, done a show for over 30 years. Soundwaves has been around for a long time. And unfortunately, earlier this year, we, uh, <clears throat> we lost a member of the Soundwaves family. Boy, see, I didn't think it was going uh, to be this tough. Um, when I think of Soundwaves, I think of the, uh, the early days, the good days. And one of the people that was there right from the very beginning was our uh, friend Myrna. <clears throat> uh, Myrna Waterman, her name was Myrna Bailey back in the day. And over the past few years, she's had a lot of uh, medical issues. And unfortunately, she passed away earlier this year. And we're, um, we're going to dedicate the show to her this year. We miss you, Myrna. Yeah, we do. We do. This is our family. This is your family. Support each other, love each other. We don't know how much time we have with each other, so let's make it count. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for supporting. God bless. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas, whatever you celebrate. And we'll see you next year. Thank you very much. Merry Christmas, everybody. Thank you.